prompt to follow up on it because the hitbox is also so active. And it means he also has to be really cautious about his item gyro throws for the same reason. Exactly. But we're going to see another House of 3000 showdown here in Losers Semis. The winner will go on to play Fawn, who 2 0'd Mailman on the other side. Um, Unfortunate end for Mailman after a great run, dude, but, I'm, you know, to I'm be not expected. Gonna, I'm not going to harp on about this because we have a set, but Byleth Duck Hunt is and a rough match. Also, we just saw that counter already come yep. out exactly where we're talking. And this is a really interesting stage pick to go start off on Battlefield here. I actually I just would, think this is really good for both players. Um, I, I do too, but I would have expected that, like, especially... I mean, we don't know who won the RPS, but... I wouldn't be I, surprised I expected, if the gentleman's mm, Battlefield actually... I was going to say... That makes sense, because I was going to say, I would be surprised. I, I feel like Dill would want a bigger stage. Well, like Dill a PS2. also loves Battlefield. Like That's, she goes yeah. to Battlefield all the time. And Helper, we obviously just saw what he did on Battlefield to yeah. Obmikbog, right? And Sora on Battlefield in general just is crazy, too. And what a snipe! Counter two. He countered too early. Helper yeah. reeled in his chair a little bit. You just saw, I mean, and that was just because Dill kind of stood there for a second before the laser, right? Yeah, it was exactly. just a slight timing delay that might seem obvious to a, a lot of people, but to newer folks who might not know, Right, like that's a simple, like a mix up can literally just be you wait a second before pressing a button. Yeah, fair one to F smash here for helper. He's gonna look for this edge guard, but doesn't find it. Ops to take the ledge trap here instead. Dill skipping it though, and actually gets an advantage state for her troubles. And Dill's item, I will say, while Dill doesn't better. have the item combos, Dill's itemless item combos with Rob are so impressive. Yeah, like the ability to find tech chases and jump reads and chain them consistently is honestly like one of the top. She's one of the best Robs at it in the world. For sure. I mean, Zomba, I think, is the best, but I think she's right right up there in terms of ability to just chain those hits together. There's a Zombear. Shout out to Cell. Um, I had, like, three thoughts, and they all just left me with that back air. I mean, Helper I mean is moving in here. He's getting these juggles going. I really think that just because Dill has the lead, he's kind of still chilling. Like, he can kind of just play his game here. These combos, this damage is already racking up so hard. 86, and this back air edge guard, maybe no. I like the burner boost here from Dill, as well as you see those forwarders, just to stall your aerial momentum a little bit. As Ultimate's meta's moved on, we've really seen players kind of inspired originally by Peanut's Little Mac, utilizing that down air. Right? Yeah. You've seen a lot of players start to experiment. Hey, what do my aerials do for my momentum? And you've seen people start to use them a lot more to mix up their disadvantage. Things. So much damage here from Helper. This all started from a Faraga, and it's 55%. Well, Faraga is actually so it's slept so, on as a It's crazy because they, you, if it, it didn't rotate, can you imagine? Well, it also, it's just because it puts you in so much hit stun that you get guaranteed combos out of it. You can get dash attack, you can get grab. Also, a kill confirm, you get F stun. Yeah. It's so silly. No, for sure. Like, what if Sora always had Faraga? I do think he'd be a little worse, but I think like there's definitely like scary things yeah. there. Just remove Thundaga, nobody cares. I think Thundaga has its uses though. I, I agree, but it's so easily avoidable in the rotor arm to boot. I'm just I'm just giving Thundaga a hard time for the record. I, I just think, think just because... Thundaga is the one people don't ever talk about because you don't see it like you it's don't see it get like it's kind silly of... cheese that tilts you as much. No, it exactly. just, it's just good. I will say, I mean as much as help, I mean, you kind of imagine maybe if Helper doesn't flub the counter on the first dock, he might win the game. He did a really good job of doing a lot of the things right, particularly in advantage. His back airs off stage were wonderful. His his combo game was great. But he needs to be a little more careful of just like Dill's tricks. And I think he'll be fine. Like And and it wasn't even just that first counter, it's that last counter as well, because he tried to counter a ledge and that's where Dill found that rotor arm exactly. was reacting to it. Helper has been really good at playing patient as we we're talking about before this whole night, but is getting a but in game one just got a little bit preemptive a couple times, and just like it almost cost him his last set, we were talking about those grounded poke options that aren't yeah. safe. Th that infrequent antsiness is kind of what was that difference maker in game one as well. I also want to throw attention to the fact that this is Helper's third set back to back in a row. He might be a little tired, maybe not. I mean, huge this counter on the back end. He's getting a lean all the way back in that chair, so at, yeah. least, at least he's relaxed. That's, you know, no, that's this, what I'm saying. This guy's got stamina. But, Absolutely. I mean, and the thing I want to draw attention to, yeah. Now that Sora has the lead, you're going to see just. That okay, was a beautiful these counters counter. are crazy. Mm -hmm. And he baited it. He waited this time, right? He went for the same thing, saying, Dill, Dill die here. you won last game off this, so if I put myself in the same position, you're going to go for it again but waited this time. It was that, beautiful. And that is called adaptation for all you out there in the chat. By the way... Really? Uh, I, th I thought it was called pickles. 
Uh, sh oh, short introduction. I've seen all y'all following. Shout out. You've gotten some follows here today. Absolutely. And the DI cross up drifted, started right, yep. drifted left, and then drifted back right. And Dill kept it close enough to the center that Helper literally had to guess. And I love the fact that he guessed right originally, yeah. but Dill did the double cross up to and kind of fl flip it back. Yep. And now Dill utilizing Battlefield to her own advantage, right? We saw what Sora can do with it earlier. Dill applying pressure, but Helper gets a shield grab in the corner. And now this is really scary. Sora can follow Rob to the ends of the earth. And you mentioned Dill as well using this battlefield to her advantage. What's really cool to see is how we talked about those like non-true hit extensions she's finding. And it's because she's putting you on the platform, which not just it's not just platform kind of can zone your landing, because if you land on it, you have less space to move and to land on. But if you hit them onto it, right, they're limited by yes. that space as well. And so she's taking full advantage of that, intentionally putting helper on these platforms with her hits yes. in order to have less space to have to cover afterward. Yeah, but Speaking of hits, Helper has just hit five up airs in a row, tried to get a counter out there, and he's just on pace to just kind of cruise to a win here Absolutely, if he doesn't. Absolutely, but it just... is still Rob, so all nah, it takes is one edge is, guard. This that is being also... said, you just didn't quite commit, but the, he going... didn't do the angle right. If he yeah. did it up a little bit, he would have grabbed the ledge. And now this is a little scary. I, I will say, though, Sora, that Sora angle is very difficult to hit, especially yeah. on pad, right? Like on box, it can be a little bit easier. Well, but because you just get it every time. Angles... But that angle with the magnet hands and the exact spacing is very precise. Yeah, I agree. But I mean. Yeah, I was going to say, Helper can just throw out these up airs. It's Battlefield. You get the free sharking. Mm -hmm. I want to. You literally have to burn a boost up there, throw it down a gyro, yeah. and hope it connects. I'd love to. If we get a replay of Helper killing Dill with the back air off stage or like the forward air. Mm -hmm. The, so generally, there's like this effect where like the Rob recovery pattern, and you'll see it right here. So, uh, to, oh well, they're getting right into it. Actually, I don't think I can. Okay. Well, I was we gonna can say, talk about it after so, the set. So I was gonna say, so Rob generally will start low and he'll boost hot. Oh wait, what are they doing? Their button checking. So we didn't have time to talk okay. about it. So let me let me let me draw attention to this, right? So your just play, and then we get to the off. so off stage here. So helper runs off, and you see actually let me go like ten frames. So Rob has to go high. I was gonna say, you and can then, also put it in half speed. Yeah, so Rob goes high, and Sora jump goes at the same height, but a little higher, and the, the hitbox of the forward air or the back air covers all of this. Okay. So what happens is, if you see as it happens, you see Dill has to rise uh, up. It occupies and it all just that space. It occupies all the space. I gotta say, I love these scribbles you guys got. Listen, man, we're just scribbling. Yeah, we. Not all of us are Ubel, okay? Not all of us can be talented artists on the on well, the tablet. Well, it's also there's not much time in between games. True. Otherwise, I'd do more stuff. But the the point I'm trying to make is that like. Sora can literally chase Rob off stage, which is a sentence you don't get to say about almost, almost any other it's character. It's like Pikachu and and, there and are it's some... like I was gonna say it's like Pikachu and Sora and Lucina. I was gonna say Snake there's some, and Ness. I was gonna say there's some other instances Ness can do it. And then Snake can and in Lucas some, can because they just get it. In some instances. In some instances, if like Rob doesn't have all the resource, maybe sometimes Falco, Game maybe sometimes get Game and Watch. There's even um, it's still Bayonetta, rare. but it's rare is the point. And Sora is arguably the best at it. Yeah, what's crazy is that ten characters in any other Smash games like a third of the cast, but here we're like, yeah, it's rare. It's not ten that characters, many characters are rare because there's like ninety. Hey man, yeah. Which great is, run up grab here from Dill. And 90 90 percent per player just here. looking for the back airs right trying to swing yeah. but that second one being a little too low to get the auto cancel and that's where helper is able to find the reversal in this situation kind of keeps the pressure going even after the reset to neutral and dill's been forced to just seed all the way back to stage but i love that attempt at the drag down up air again just forcing helper to back off and dill's trying desperately to find just enough space not even to convert a reversal but just to reset to neutral you know yeah, Dill is playing super well in the corner. Like honestly, like giving up space and taking some extra hits, not mashing under the freeze, like all this extra stuff. And Helper, this game has already done a bit of extra adaptation. He's been dash attacking a little more. Up on the platform will definitely kill there. And I, I want to see how Dill responds to like Helper is playing slow and he is just with punishing. We might need to see some extra bait. We might need to see maybe some hard callouts here from Dill to make this comeback. Helper just looks like an unstoppable force right now. It, by a very slow, patient, calm unstoppable force. Yeah. <laughs> but unstoppable nonetheless. I, I was going to say, he looks like so, 
the un he looks like the immovable object that is getting pushed very slowly by the unstoppable yeah. force. <laughs> but he is immovable nonetheless. Absolutely, and, and Dill is trying very hard or to find a way in. That being said, right, this is still game three. The stock count is still even. This is still Rob. So Dill is very, very capable of bringing this one back. I do think that this second stock is integral because I think if Helper's able in this juggle situation to find a stock lead here, it could really be hard for Dill to open yeah. and back up, close that gap again. But if she can maintain this ground space, find just a reversal for a moment, just like this. She's That's now so got Helper nice. in the corner, but he's yeah. but not able to maintain it with that side special. Able to root your way out of the ledge and still not able to find the drag down. But there uh, it is, the final up stock, But 80%. Yeah, That's and, huge. Yeah, and it makes you wonder, like, I think Dill's stubbornness to go this comfort stick pick of Battlefield might be her undoing here. Mm -hmm. It feels like Helper just keeps on finding these up air kills because of the strength of Sora, like, sharking these platforms. Hits the angle this I, time. I do. I will say I love that cross up back from Dill as well. Even though it doesn't get the tower spot, it does just push you off. And now, because Dill was able to survive just long enough, like, get 80% on that last lap while it's at huge. kill percent. She's able to close that yeah. gap and bring it back even, whereas if she had lost that stock at the beginning of that juggle, right, that would have been a 70-80% to build in. It all matters. And now Dill has actually taken the lead. Keep in mind, this is tournament stock. Loser yeah. is out at fifth place here. And no, seventh place. Yeah, and neither one fifth wants place. to go home. The down throw, though, is a great opportunity. Dill able to get the horizontal. I love the laser, but... Sora at that mid range just able to utilize the distance <gasps> contest you so okay. much pressure, but the beautiful little SDI and DI there yeah. from and let's Helper see we... to find the way out from that yep. gyro. And great recovery mix up there from Dill. Waiting for Helper to jump with the back air first and then going up. And this lets her get a second lease on like the freeze here, the up smash, but barely misses the timing on the mash out. Grabs the Faraga and the down throw. This mix up matters so much. Oh and no! Helper buffered the down air. Did and you? he was literally, if he does that, a f maybe 10 to 15 frames later. Not, not. I was gonna say not even because once that once that hitbox starts to yeah. come out, then you can contest. But it's because it was in that. It was right after the first hitbox of that down air ends because it's not actually continuous. Dude, it's almost the, continuous, but it was right before. Well, it's also mm -hmm. once the up air hitbox like stops detecting there, the down air is a free kill off the top. And we can literally count the frames because we have uh, the technology to do so. We have the power. We have the technology. I can't believe. Let's count the frames. Because, like, okay, also, like. Yeah, we're waiting for the, the uh, is it, it's here? It's, no, it's, it's after. It's the next the one. Next it's the one. next one. Yeah. Okie doke. That was also, shout out to this, where Dill does run up rotor arms because it will reflect the gyro toss. Okay. Okay. So, so it's after the down throw. Right, we get down throw. Okay, so go, pause. So uh, do we, we want to go before the, so we have up air coming yeah, out Yeah, right here. So, so we get double jump, one frame, two frame, three frame, four frame, oh one frame, God. two frame. It was the last hit. It was, yeah, it, it was, was the, the last, last hit. It was the last hit of Rob up air. Yeah, yeah I was even telling it. Dill, like I was trying to time it it's specifically literally the, it's for the last It's literally hit. the two <laughs> yeah, <no>. arm <laughs> last <laughs> hit, you see it come out, I should have okay. told Dill, I was trying to time the down air, oh so my. I would hit you as soon as it was over and finish the match, and like, I just messed up the timing. You see it. Look. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Well, because you need to go back to the to the stylus. Thank you. Oh I'm so silly. But, but you literally, moments ta photos taken moments before a disaster. It's so crazy because, like, I could tell the I could tell it wasn't buffered and that you just, like, barely missed the timing. But and like, what, what's crazy, too, is that it's, like, not even that the hitbox doesn't come out. Because it does. It's, it's just right it's actually, after that first yeah, rotation. So it's the hitbox actually is so no funny. longer active below you. Yeah. If the Rob arms are still extended there, you get.